Hi right, guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm with Ross Wallace again, and we're going to explore some abandoned planes. Uh, the one we're in now is sort of like a medium sized one. There's another much bigger one we're going to try and get into as well. But um, yeah, they, these are just sort of left in an airfield, and they've got a few things left in them, so we're going to go check it out. Anyway, yeah, let's go. Okay, so this first plane is a Percival Sea Prince T1, and it's been sitting on this airfield since somewhere around the 1990s. I don't know much history on it, but what I do know is that it was used by the Royal Navy for lightweight transport. I do have a couple of pictures as well, and uh, yeah, this first one you can see this is the original paintwork that it had on all of the sea prints at the time would have looked like this, but obviously would have looked a bit fresher, it's a bit wrecked at this point. But yeah, this next picture, um, you can see some graffiti artists have come and visited and they've put their mark on it you can see that pink stripe up the side so yeah that's that and uh, yeah then we have what it looks like now and it looks like a shark I think this is its best look so far it looks pretty nice even though uh, at this point it's started to come away a bit but yeah let's get on with the explore okay so yeah in this first plane so you can see the cockpit there it's awesome the levers, some of them sort of move. Yeah, you can see all the, all the dials and stuff as well. So I do think it's amazing, uh, these planes, uh, you know, how many sort of things the, the pilots have to process. But yeah, that's awesome in there. Yeah, look, you can see up on the ceiling here, there's all the wires. All still here. I think that, I just think that was like a, a mic. Yeah, it's crazy. And look over here, there's still, you know, machinery and electronics in here. Spare fuses. And then there's like a, a storage part of the back. It's crazy. And yeah, these chairs, these are so cool. They spin. It's awesome how there's three chairs just to give you an overview of the whole, whole place. Sick. So I managed to get on top of the plane. Yeah, out here, look, you can see uh, the engines. Still in there, look. Can you see that? How awesome is that? The propellers come off. But yeah, that's what it looks like from the outside. It's got this really awesome graffiti on it to make it look like a shark. Yeah, it's got some. It's got a plaque on the back. It's R.I.P. Philip Morris. So I'm guessing he uh, maybe had a lot to do with this place. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's the first plane done. Um, there's two more to look at, so we could go over to those now. So we've literally been told by uh, some guy on the airfield that. Um, it's recently been sold for 85 million and it's being redeveloped into housing so all these planes are going to be going soon. Quite sad actually because, uh, you know, things like this, it's going to be quite nice to keep going. But, uh, yeah, I don't know where they're going to go, they're just going to which is a shame. So, 
really glad I got to see it before they went. Right guys, we've just arrived at the second plane and it's a monster. Uh, well, I think it's a bomber because uh, it's got like the bay at the bottom, but obviously I can't be certain on that. But yeah, look at that. The wings are huge. We're going to try and get in this one as well, but it's going to be a bit harder because um, it's so tall. So you can actually get underneath like the, the cargo bay. There. There's all like the parts in there. Okay guys, so this plane is Navro Shackleton, used by the RAF. And yes, it was a bomber, although I doubt that this plane was used to do any bombing because its first flight was in 1958, which was after the Second World War had ended. So I did find some interesting images online which tell a little story about this plane, so cue the sad music. Right, so this photo was taken in 1984 when it was at an air show. So you can see it's in a much nicer condition here. And uh, yeah, this is the last photo of it where it's actually in that condition, which is really sad to see. This next photo was taken in 1989 when it was transported to the airfield that it's currently at um, and it's being reconstructed. And unfortunately, the work was never completed. This next photo was taken five years later in the year 1994 and the plane is sitting derelict on the airfield. The work was never completed and it's sat like this ever since. Uh, so we've managed to get on the wing. Going in. So we're in the big plane now guys. Look at this place. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> that is insane. Let you can go down here. Wow. So that seat's just come apart. I'm guessing that's where like a gunner would sit or something. On there. Shooting people. Yeah, because look, there's like sort of like a magazine thing where the ammo go. Wow. You have to duck down quite low though. Look at that. Once we're going towards the back of the plane now, look, there's punk beds where also people would stay. And look, there's even a little kitchen. The bomb was in there. I'm not sure what that was. But yeah, check this out in there. Oh, oh Jesus, that floor's on uneven. Wow, what is that? I couldn't even tell you. That seat is does look quite comfy to be honest. But yeah, I'm going even further towards the back. I'm going to try and go around this thing and fall in there. What's that? Wow, what is this? I think it's like the economy. Anyway, this is definitely a fire plane. Yeah. Just, just be careful because there's a big hole there. There's a. Yeah, it's like such a cardboard. Oh, that's a toilet. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't like to have a poo in that. <laughs> Low headroom. Hmm, would never have guessed. God, how am I going to get through there? 
Yeah, I've got through to the back. Look at that. You can see at the bottom. And at the back as well. So yeah, Ross reckons there was like a, a gun here as well. But yeah, that's that's pretty sick. Going back through. God, that's so tight. Bloody hell. It was so hot in there. <laughs> it's a big hole down there. Guys, that's the third plane. You can't get in that one, but uh, it's only a small one anyway. Sorry. But yeah, you can have a look over here. That's where the engine was in there. They've removed that this time. But yeah, it's pretty sick in there. That's all there is to that. Alright guys, that's that. Thanks for watching. Um, I think that was pretty amazing to explore something different. I haven't ever done a plane before. But um, they were quite this this one in particular is really impressive, I think. But yeah, thanks for watching. Go and check out Ross Wallace's channel, um, Ross Wallace Adventures. Some great stuff on there. Um, but yeah, he does some different stuff to me as well. He does uh, like wild camping stuff like that and it's really quite interesting stuff so uh, I'd recommend that. Once again thanks for watching, remember to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see some more and I'll see you next time. And also massive thank you to Urbex Ollie for helping us out with the location for this one so go and check his channel out I'll put a uh, link in the description for that.